Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. I ended up picking up the board I was talking about last video and you guys will see in a sec if you actually got that right if you commented. Congrats if you did. But I'll just go grab that now. <laughs> that I've been talking about in the last video. If you haven't seen that, check that out up here. But this is the Sharp Eye Surfboards. Number 77, which is the fully paid Toledo model. So I'm just gonna set this up and I'll put a little montage of that for you guys to watch. See you in a bit. Well, since I now got that done, then it's about time to wax up this board, okay? I can't wait. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hard. We actually picked up this FCS new wax, which I believe is petrol free or diesel free, one of the two, so it's a bit better for the environment. And we're gonna see how this goes today. The wax went on pretty easily, so I'll have to let you guys know how it feels underfoot. So when you wax your board up, you wanna start off by going horizontally, and then after that you wanna go vertically diagonally and then diagonally the other way and then you want to end off with circles both big and small and then that way you'll get the best beads and the best grip and now it's ready to surf good morning everyone how's it going uh i just woke up and I'm hoping to test out my sharp eye today. Like I'm really excited about that. Sadly, it's a little full out the front today, like it was yesterday actually. So we're actually gonna go for a little bit of an adventure and look for some waves. Oh, this is my dog, Balti, by the way. What you doing? Oh, he's a good boy, hey, Andrew. At the front here. Hey there, Future Zane here. Um, just a little hindsight. I ended up checking, I think it was three or four different spots and nowhere was as good as here. So I had to come back after an hour of searching, but yeah, that's where I ended up going in. So I was stoked to get out there this morning and catch a couple fun ways. It was only 
two foot, maybe some three foot sets, except it lacked a lot of power. It actually went surprisingly well, like it's supposed to be my bigger board and I only took it out because I just wanted to try it in today's conditions and it went a lot better than I was expecting, like it had good speed, it was really easy to turn. Um, I'll have to surf it a couple more times before I can give a full review on it, but yeah, I really liked it initially. But I had to say that SDS wax that I was talking about yesterday that I was trying went really good. Like, I didn't even have to put too much on it. And it was so grippy. I didn't slip once. I was confident on my board the whole time. And it barely came off. Like, I don't think I'll have to put any more on at the moment for my next surf, which is always nice. So I'll just show you guys how my board's looking after this morning session. Yeah, so I don't think there's any compressions at all. Like, usually after my first surf, I'd get a couple. Especially when it's smaller, I need to push a bit hard to get going. But I'm surprised. I was really happy with that. Um, one thing I could say, like, I can't review my board right now because I've only had one surf in less than optimal conditions. But these fins, the H4s, Oh, they were so good. I thought they'd be a bit funky, a bit weird, because they don't they don't look like the normal fin, but they surprised me. They turned me on the, when I wanted to, they released when I wanted to. They had heaps of speed. It, there was nothing wrong with them. Like I just felt like I could do whatever I wanted to, which is all that you want with the fin, isn't it? But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm hoping that there's some more swells so that I can try this board out and give you guys a full review in say a week or two hopefully that's that's a big hopefully but that's what i'm aiming for and yeah hope you have a great day uh like and subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you guys next time peace